Section 8 is about objects used to receive divine revelation and how the Lord views them. The subject arises in connection with the objects Joseph Smith used to receive revelation about the contents on the gold plates, something that Joseph Smith referred to as translation. However, Joseph Smith did not use the word translation in the same way everyone else did. When he said he translated, what he really meant was that he got a revelation about what was contained in an ancient record. Why did he use objects? Because objects were commonly used in his time to receive inspiration and visions. It was well attested that he translated the Book of Mormon in at least three ways. First, through the use of the Urim and Thummim, and second, by the use of the seer stone, and third, by the use of direct revelation without the use of any objects. Although it may seem odd to us today, in Joseph Smith's day, such objects were in common use. D. Michael Quinn, a well-respected and prominent Mormon historian from Yale, points out that white magic and the supernatural were widespread in Joseph's day. He said that the majority of early Americans gave at least some attention to astrology in their daily lives, and evidence indicates that white magic influenced the folk medicine that was almost universal during the period. The Palmyra Reflector, a newspaper, is a good source for describing the environment. Rods, balls, and peep, or seer stones, were familiar and considered reliable guides.